Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a, another Dead Frontier 2 video. This is going to be a melee guide from level 1 to 30. There will be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip a certain part of the video. Also, there will be a couple more links down there. There will be a link to my Twitch channel where I stream different games every single night. There will be a link to the official Discord channel for Dead Frontier 2. And also a link to my Discord channel where you can get informed about like the newest videos, newest stuff that we're going to be doing, new type of games playing and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy this video guys, let's get on with it. Alright, on to the skills part. Now, I'm going to be going through from level 1 to 30. I'm going to show you what order I do it in. Don't forget this timestamps in the description below if you want to skip this part and just look at the end build. But anyway, let's get on with it. So. Add skill for the first one, you definitely want stealth. I'm going to keep stealth at one, it's just so you can get them surprise damage because it's really going to help you out at the start. Now, I'm going to go down and get my melee expert. Now, depending whether you want to be a sprinter or a jogger, it's entirely up to you. Me personally, I'm going to go for jogger because I'm a jogger. Now, we're going to go for da -da -da -da, brute strength. Then, we're going to go for toughness and let's get us a little bit of medic in there where is it there we go so these are basically the skills i'm going to be using these right here and now you just double up that's it double up i'm not going to go more than stealth one though stealth one is where i'm at so i'm going to go for jogger two for the extra sprint speed i go melee expert two I'm going to go brute strength two I'm going to go toughness two Going to go Medic 2. Alright, now I've got them all leveled up again. Let's go in for the number 3s. Now I'm going to go for... Oh, where is it? Jogger 3. Melee Expert 3. Brute Strength 3. Toughness 3. And Medic 3. Once again. Um, I always get mixed up. Mix up. I got four. Melee expert four. Brute strength four. Toughness four. And then medic four. Now we're getting into the main game parts. So we're going to go for jogger five if we can find it. There it is. Melee expert five. <coughs> Uh, brute strength five, toughness five, and last of all, medic five. Now you're going to be looking, and you're going to still have four skill points left, unless you've prestige. Like you see, I have five points. That's because I'm prestige one, so I have one extra skill point. But the last five is is really where you want to go. You know, like what do you want your bonus four skills to be? Do you want to be a looter? going to be a mule, you know, a kickboxer, a lock picker, anything like that, it's entirely up to you. Me personally, I'd suggest either hunter, exterminator, or thick skin. Hunter for bossing, exterminator, for just killing infected easier, and thick skin, if you're going to be bossing. Because immune system's not going to help you, thick skin is. Because fingers has a 100% bleed chance whenever he hit you, hits you, so you know, you can get that bleed chance down if you really want to. Me personally, I'm going to go... Hunter. Hunter. Hunter 3 and Hunter 4. Now I'm going to get lock picking 1 because I do like my lock picking. See that lock picking skill, you won't be able to have that because if you're level 30 uh, without a prestige, you wouldn't have that extra 1. Unless I have the extra 1, I managed to get me lock picking. Well, yeah, there it is. So, Stealth 1, Jogger 5, Melee Expert 5, Brute Strength 5, Toughness 5, Medic 5, and then whatever you really want to go up to after that. I went for Hunter 4 because I love bossing. So, obviously, I do bossing. So, there you go. That is my melee build. All right, on to the items. Now, items are entirely up to you. It's all like how you want your build to be. Do you want to be really fast? If you do, you want attack speed. Do you want a lot of damage? You go with body damage. You know, it's entirely up to you. Now, I've personally, because I'm going to be doing a lot of bossing, I've gone for jog speed and minus incoming damage. That's basically what this build is all about. 
Got some knockback in there with some body damage, attack speed. You know, it's, it's kind of a balanced build. Like, I'm not super strong in anything. It's, it's kind of balanced. Well, yeah, let's have a look at what we can do with melee. Now, this sledgehammer right here, this is going to hit for 12.4. Not too bad. Things are going to die easy. That's basically the easiest way to put it. Thing, things are going to die fast. Yeah, you see, loads of knockback. So don't be worried about anything running at you because you can just send it miles away. To be fair, I don't even need to turn, I've got that much knockback. Oh, Tendril is pissed!